There are two things that affect the smoothness of the video you take, movement of the gimbal and the movement of the drone itself. Thanks to a recent update to the uh, DJI Fly app, you can now adjust both of these to absolute perfection. And that is what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian, I play with drones, and I'm coming to you from sunny Malta this week, where I've been playing around with the ND filters for the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Mini. But I got an unexpected bonus this week when the DJI Fly app was updated to version 1.1.6. And that brought in a few different improvements, but one specifically that I've been hanging out for ever since I bought the Mavic Air 2. Namely, that's the ability to adjust the pitch movement of the uh, gimbal and the drone itself which are the two single most important things when trying to shoot smooth video. Now, this is one of my key gripes of the Mavic Air 2. You were pretty much stuck. If you wanted to smooth things down, you had to flick it down into tripod mode, which was all well and good, but it actually slowed down the speed of how the drone flew as well. And that wasn't always appropriate. And likewise, when I wanted to fly a little bit faster in sports mode, for some strange reason, that also increased the sensitivity of the movements, resulting in very, very jerky movements. One other quick little thing they've done is updated the battery level indicator. Uh, it used to be a white symbol with white figures and often against a white sky, so you couldn't really see it. You've now got a nice, easy to read, colorful uh, circle. It starts off mostly green with the uh, remaining battery amount also in green. And then the more you fly, the more you, of the battery you're using, uh, the less of the green you have and the more of the red that uh, starts appearing until finally you're getting down to uh, low or critical battery. But it's a nice little update, makes life a little bit easier for when you're, uh, when you're flying. But look, to go into the settings, what you're gonna do, go to the three dots in the top right, and uh, you go to control, and scroll down, and this is the new setting you are looking for, advanced gimbal settings. Now, in here, you've got four sliders, pitch speed, pitch smoothness, your rotation speed, and your smoothness. And you've got all four of those repeated for uh, normal mode, scrolling down, also sports mode, and also tripod mode. So what I can do is go through what each of the four sliders mean, what the values mean, and what the actual movement is on the gimbal or the drone itself, and I can tell you what works for me. So let's start off with pitch speeds. Pitch speed is really easy. Pitch is literally the up and down movement of, uh, of the gimbal itself. Now, you use the little gimbal wheel at the back to adjust the gimbal going up and down. What you can do now though, if you were to increase it right up to the full 100, then when you do a full lock, you can see that is pretty ugly movement. Now, there are times when you might want that, but most of the time you won't. So what you can do is move it right down and I find pretty much around 10. Now, you still gotta have a light, a light touch on the, on the wheel. If you do it to full lock, you can see it's quite fast. Move it down to maybe eight six let's go for six so on six there you've got quite a nice movement but one thing that's not very good is the moment you let go it stops moving there's no smoothness in it and that funnily enough is what the next slider is for the pitch smoothness is literally how slowly the movement starts and how slowly the movement will stop it's like a little buffer and if you increase that to well you go right up to 30 for instance now, when I start the full lock on the wing wheel, you can see it starts and I let go and it carries on for a little bit. And again, full lock going up, slowly starts, let go, and it carries on for a little bit. So it's a very nice slow intro and a slow stop, if you like, to gimbal movement. And for that, you actually want quite a high value. So I'm leaving mine at around 25 to 30. Now you may find that a little bit too slow to start moving, but I think uh, for me, that's certainly working pretty much right. 
take it to the other extreme right down to zero and the moment you start it starts and the moment you let go it stops dead so again you can see the effect this is going to have on your gimbal movements you need to have a gradual start and a gradual stop so that's why this value I actually want quite high 25 to 30 30 being the max is actually what's working for me so again just going down and it's a nice slow movement the other two sliders refer to yaw now yaw is the horizontal or the rotational movement of the drone itself so whilst pitch is talking about the gimbal going up and down and smoothing that right down the yaw is actually smoothing out the entire movement, the rotational movement of the drone itself. And that is just as important to get smooth video. So I need to get this drone up in the air to show you exactly how the adjustments to these settings affects the movement. So uh, no, I'm not going to do it off the balcony. I want the Mavic Air 2 to fly another day. So I'll just go for a quick walk now, get up in the air, and I'll show you exactly uh, how these uh, adjustments affect the movement of the drone. So, like I said, the yaw is the rotational uh, element of the control. So let's go to control again. Go to advanced gimbal settings. So just like the pitch speed and the pitch smoothness, we have the, uh, the yaw rotational speed and the yaw smoothness. And you can kind of work out what each one is going to do. So if we go to the... Uh, your rotational speed and have it up at max you can see we jerk around quite quickly and then if we turn it right down and then full stick it's slow but still Still quite fast for that reason that's why i actually like to have it as low as it can go on 20. now if you do a subtle stick movement then you can see you can move you're moving it uh you're turning quite slowly if you do full stick to me that's turning fast enough i'm not really sure if you're filming why you'd ever want it going faster than that so for that reason, the, uh, the your speed I have right down as low as it can go. And then the final is the your smoothness. Now the default is five, but again, if I chuck it right down to zero, as soon as I start, you can see it starts moving. If I, alternatively, if I put it right up to 30, and as soon as I go full full stick left, it starts slowly and when I let go it carries on for a little bit and again if you've got a lighter touch with the sticks and you start gently moving you see you get the most gradual of turns and for that reason I tend to have the uh, your set to again like the pitch around 25 25 or 30 gently and then you can see off it goes Now I said that you can set these settings for all three flight modes, for tripod, normal, and for sports mode, uh, which is fantastic flexibility. But for me, whether or not I'm flying fast in sports mode or slower in, uh, in tripod mode, when I start moving that gimbal or uh, affecting the, ro the rotational uh, movement of the drone, I want it to be as silky smooth as it can be. So for me personally, I actually use the same settings in all three sections, because whenever I want to make a movement, I want it to be uh, as smooth as possible. May not be the case for you, and uh, if not, then great, you've got the flexibility to set different settings. As I said, for me, same, all three. So there we go, look, a nice short video today. Uh, ultimately, I am on holiday, but I did really want to get uh, the settings out to you as soon as possible because uh, they make such a huge difference. They will make such an enormous difference to the uh, smoothness and quality of the video that you take. 
Um, I will drop the uh, actual values in the notes down below so you can uh, refer back to them if you want. Uh, let me know if different values work for you and, uh, and why. Just always drop a comment below. It's always nice reading what works for you. Um, as ever, if you like this sort of stuff, give me a little thumbs up. Always helps the cause. And if you haven't already, then hit the sub, ding the dong, get notified each time I put something out. Either way, until next time, have fun, stay safe and sane, happy flying.